Hi, you're back with English Coach, and today I'm here to talk to you about finding your uniqueness and nonconformity. So, often we talk about the cliche that many, many thousands of years ago, cave people would follow each other uh, into whatever danger they had to go to get enough food and kill enough animals to be able to feed their tribe. And of course, this is very suiting because if they can't do that, their tribe will suffer in many different ways. The most obvious being <laughs> starvation. So they were forced to train together and forced to work together and forced to share the same ideals and the same ideas which is fine. But basically it's so entrenched in society that we need to be like others, uh, that we need to fit in, that the emphasis of finding your own uniqueness, the idea of finding your own uniqueness is really rare. And when we see it, if we see it in a catchphrase or if we see it in a post, it doesn't really tell us how to get there. It says, be yourself, but, you know, what does that mean? What does it mean to be yourself? Now, finding your uniqueness and not conforming are kind of connected because for you to be able to find out who you are, you cannot compare yourself with other people and you cannot think about other people. You may think about your behavior with other people, but what you're focusing on is not external. It's you, it's inside you, it's your feelings, your opinions. And why do I have those opinions? And why do I have those beliefs? And why do I have those attitudes? So it's all about taking time out for yourself to find out who you are and questioning every action of your day to really reflect on where does where do those actions come from what beliefs support those actions i'm not talking in a neurotic way either i'm talking about actions that you feel either could have been done better or could have been done worse not following other people and other people's ideas but creating your own helps you to find your own uniqueness. It's absolutely vital that you do spend two minutes alone every day in silence with yourself to ask yourself, who am I? Nowadays, we have social media. We don't need to joke about the cliches of tribes gone by in the past. We can talk about social media directly and the fact that social media forces you to follow other people's ideas. Other people's ideas can be great. Everybody needs a mentor. Everybody needs an example. But what happens when you cannot form your own decisions, when you cannot make decisions because you need somebody else's opinion? Whose life are you living? So just by allowing yourself to make mistakes in your own decision-making process, so long as that doesn't depress you and send you to alcohol and drugs, is a fantastic way for you to start building on exactly who you are. Making rational decisions based on what you think is important. Thank you so much for being here today, and I hope that you enjoyed my video. This is really about not conforming and finding your own uniqueness. I hope you have a wonderful 2019. It's great to be back. And please like, dislike, subscribe, and comment. Okay? Bye.